Green flag out for the side news collision skid plate series. It's already a sick alert in turn number one. Jeffrey's going to the high side. Avoiding it all. Oh, more contact back there. Turn one's always a fun one to watch your leader around the 46. And April out front in the lead. Nope, she spins it. Forty-six back in the lead after spinning out in the same corner he took the lead in front. Here comes Jeffrey with the cape. It's flapping in the wind. We're hoping that thing comes off. All oh, right in front of your leader, car goes around, your leader spins out and James Altman will inherit, nope, no, he will not inherit the lead. And we got a bunch up right here. See Angela DeFazio in that 77, brand new car for her. Literally just got it the other day. Jeff doing a great job until now. Never mind, he keeps it going. Ooh, that was close. going on over here this is going to be a little bit of a mix up nope three of Dave Enhart keeps it going Dave Enhart is our is our wannabe Dale Enhart Joe Mater you see him in the 04 there he is oh we got a cluster over here in turn three they're all spinning out right here Jeffrey does a great job of avoiding as well as Nick Jarinitis and that 27 we got a trunk up on this car. Sell your groceries, they're gonna come off. Out. Where's Joe Mater? He's been racing out here for quite some time. Joe Mater is. Oh, there he is, right here. Thank you, Matt. Look at those eyes, fierce eyes on that 04 car. See, here comes the enforcer. There is a block on the road. Your leader spins out right here, the 46, green and blue, 360, and keeps it going. Enforcer's gonna try to fix that situation, and Jeffrey Best doing a great job out here. He's not even on the top 10, but hey, it's all right. Hanging on to that thing very well. Force is trying to find a way to get that car out of the, that stuck car out of the track, but it looks like it's going to be there for a while. Jeffrey having to stop him to avoid Stephen Wolfram in the one spinning out right in front of him. Adam Ditto in the 14. He said he was going to win too. Right now he is listed in not even the top 10. Here we go. It gets exciting right here. Ooh, that was close. There we go. There's some contact, and Jeffrey is gonna miss it. Oh, there's the crunch up right here. The three, the 33, and the three. How ironic. And the 44 gets it going. Trying to make his way out of the way, and red flag for the 44. Green flag's back out, and the race is back on. And here's Matt Ferron, our, our assistant, um, helping us out here. We call him an assistant, but really, he's a great friend and really does everything he can to help us out. And uh, Matt, what would you say for Jeffrey Best in that Devil Zero? You know, he's doing a really good job, and I'm surprised that cape stay on the back of it. Me too! Big and now a big one. hit right in front of him. Hey, he's been doing a great job of keeping it under control and uh, moving around the track, moving it out of these cars. Matt, look down here on the front straight, eh? Yeah. Look at all these cars entering turn number one. You and right in turn number one, big spin. That is usually the end result when you get a whole bunch of cars going into one corner. I think that 17 car is done for. That was a huge crunch. Oh, 17's running again. Here comes Jeffrey. You hear those axles clicking. Tick, 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 tick. It's sooner or later those things are just going to blow apart. 
Well, hopefully he's not in when that happens. <laughs> you have him moving around the car with the trunk open. Maybe he'll give him a little bumper tag? Nope. He definitely looked over to see who it was. Maybe to see what's in the, that trunk of his. Jeffrey taking the high side, Matt. Oh, he's there around. the spin, we get it on film. I believe that's his first spin of the night. Looks like he stalled it out. See if he gets it going again. Usually when you spin these cars, they, they will stall. And Joe Mater spinning out right in front of him. Trying oh, to take going again. Oh boy, this could be interesting. We got Joe and Jeffrey in the same area. Oh, there we go. Now Jeffrey's on it for the show. Get that cape off. Get that cape off. And Jeffrey just a sitting duck right over the edge like, of the one. Hey, wait a minute. Oh no, he's trying to get that thing fired back up again. Um, unless he's waiting to pick his battle on somebody. I wonder what's happening here. Yeah, got the uh, jammer car coming over to give him a nudge. The police car helping him out. Wonder and what's happening. Window. Well, Jeffrey's going to try to get it figured out. Who knows? But more contact right here, Stephen Wolfram getting spun out by the 34, whoever that is. Oh, big carnage over here in this corner. Well, Matt, Jeffrey looked like he had a heck of a run going on there. Yeah, it's a shame that he had to that it had to fall apart on him right there. But. It's probably something really stupid like a battery co connection or something. Usually that stuff takes you out. Yeah, I'm really surprised how durable these cars are for what they go through. Oh, absolutely. Okay, well your leader is at 58. No surprise there. <laughs> the enforcer car went to push the one out of the way and the 56 spun right in front of him. And now we have the entire field coming right down on him. Let me find Watley. He is in the number 34, coming out of retirement. First oh, race Joe back around since the front. 1991. These two mixing it up here. Joe Anderson in that 04. Good recovery and taking a oh, shortcut. Oh, bumper tag. <laughs> File that claim. There's Joe out spinning donuts in the infield. Joe, the race isn't over yet. Okay, so the 58 is your leader. The four in the second spot. 58 is going through turn three right now. James Altman, your leader. Like we said, no surprise there whatsoever. He's had a streak going on, and the four car is in the second spot. Where is the four? I have no Way idea. Way over here. Ooh, some carnage going on as soon as I move the camera. And some smoke coming out of that one That's there. That 77, well now 34. Might have just blew up that motor or the transmission. But it's definitely a smoke box right there. So there's your second spot right here, the four, and here's your leader, the 58. So I think your leader might lap the entire field by the way, by the rate he is going. That 46, he's on a mission. He's a blimp driver, I believe. Joe Anderson, oh, all of you, oh, big cars. Big contact right there with the 38. Spins it out and keeps it going. Takes out your leader too. And the 58. Look down, down here in turn four. Looks like the uh, jammer car is smoking <laughs> it out, trying to get it moving too. Woo! That is fun stuff right here. Making a little smoke screen for everyone. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, that that car, the army camouflage car, was locked up in gear, and the uh, enforcer tried to push him out of the way, and 
of course did a smoke show. That was pretty cool. Maybe we should get a smoke machine in these corners. It'd make things a lot more fun for everyone out there. <laughs> like it wasn't that much fun to begin with? Yeah, exactly. A little more ice, maybe some ice and soap and whatever else, whatever else we can put out there. Your leader around again on the back straightaway. You see the four right in front of James. I believe the four did go a lap down and regained it. Four of Robert Rice, I think. Here we go, lap 16, only four laps remaining. James Altman's looking pretty good on this field. 38, driving it in hard. Can he hang on, can he hang on? Got some traffic coming up oh, on him. Oh, oh, oh. Got more crashing in turn three and four. Definitely the most fun division of, the, of Toyota Speedway. One of the many. The cheapest form of racing you can do, Matt. And probably one of the few ones that you don't need that much experience for. Oh, the experience is probably uh, advised. Less experience, I should say. Got the 46 up against the wall, using the wall as a help. Here's April in the number seven. One of the original skid play cars. Things filling up on turn four there. Oh yeah, absolutely. Looking like the 405 on Carmageddon. Joe working through it. Joe, you see that buck teeth right there? It's half, it's half um, Lightning Queen and half Tomator. So Pixar should be proud. Two laps remaining, Matt. What's it looking like? Do you think? It, we know there's probably not going to be a change for the lead. You know, I can't tell. The way everything goes out here, it can change in a minute. Oh, yeah, that's true. Ooh, crashing right here. All you need is one hit big like that crash. and big things happen. That is a pile up right there. Wow. White flag's out. More, cra more crashing. And I don't think half these people notice. Wow. That was a pile up there, Matt. That looked like it hurt. Yeah, that did. Ken Palmer, he took a lot of crashing right there. That 55. And your leader, James Altman, going yep. through turn number three right now. The field's getting the white flag, but out of turn number four, James Altman will win again in the Side News Collision Skid Plate Series. And checkered flag's out. There it is. James Altman, Angela DeFazio. Mm -hmm. Where's she at? Joe Mater spinning she, across the line. Way over here. That's your second spot. Joe Anderson going crazy. As he should. Second and third are not even, probably not even a lot close. But here comes Angela DeFazio in the second spot. Brand new car for her. And she could just drive that thing home if she wanted to. And then third spot on the board is your number 38. Where, where, where? Right there. Out of the corner. That 38 car finishing in the third spot. Yellow well, now it's freestyle around. time, Matt. You know, these guys are still having fun even after the races. Yeah, yellow lights are on, but that does not mean they're done. <laughs> perfect, perfect analogy, Matt. Well, Jeffrey's Park over here is stuck. Curious to find out maybe those axles finally blew up. But we'll see. It's playtime. Angela DeFazio An out there doing some donuts. Yeah, she's doing a great job out there. Eh, I'll score that one pretty good. Well, congratulations to James Altman, that 58 car, winning again out here. It's getting old, but it's fun to watch a dominating car. It's fun to watch skill prevail in these things. I don't know. Absolutely. So. Well, we do a show on Wednesdays, Ustream.tv. Search Low Budget TV. Of course, we're on Facebook. Check us out there. Here's your winner, James. Saying thank you, Stephen. Stephen Wolfram, you see him running up. James Altman, man, he can just, he can make it happen in the skid plates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.